So just to make it clear from now on, because I've had people ask me about, oh, the review, when, when was the review part? So if you come for the, if it's a live and it lasts more than 20, 25 minutes, the last five minutes is generally the review. Go to that for the review. Other than that, stay on and watch the whole thing all the way through. Good evening, Mr. Go Ted. How are you? So the beer tonight is Backyard Brew House Blonde. I've had, I think I bought two of these at the same time. One was a blonde and one was something else. I ain't got a clue to be honest what it was. Um, we love what we brew. We believe that creative brewing is all about sticking to the same old formula. Good evening. Oh yeah, good pal. Oh, so someone else was saying good evening there. Yeah. Um, um, since 2008, we have experimented with different combinations of hops and ingredients to find both traditional and exciting new tasting ales. And these people are from Walsall in the West Midlands. So, oh, roll on the warm weather and dry. <laughs> well, at least dry in the day when I'm at work. Uh, when you're asleep, you don't care monkeys, but when you're at work, bloody hell. At one stage today, it was baking hot. And, and then it went bitterly cold, chucked it down again. I mean, weather. We really are stuck in the doldrums where, where the weather's concerned. Good evening, mate. How are you? Good evening, Andy. Yeah, not too bad. Oh, nice to have a beer, isn't it? I know. It, 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 you need, we, we, I mean, it's the end of May. <laughs> we need some warmth with, I mean, heck. And I bet the pubs uh, uh, would be happy to see some warmth because then you can open up the venues much, much bigger than what they are at the moment. So nice looking pour. Um, a slight haziness to the pour. Must be a bit of sediment in the bottom. Wet Wales. Um, 4.1% this fella is. Um, golden looking pot, although it's classed as a blonde. Bubbly white head on me, really bubbly head. <sighs> Definite citrus on the nose, bit of lemon, bit of citrus. Was you battered? It's nice to get out there, isn't it? It's nice to get out. Yeah, that 16% Lurvig was, oh, tough. Nice, bloody nice, but uh, yeah, not sessionable. You know, you couldn't drink more than one of them. You'd be on your back, something rotten. Oh, a nice bitter, um, nice pub beer, traditional pubish beer. Easy drinking then. It's what you want, really. Oh. Just it's the spot after a, a long, a long day, and uh, I don't know what it is with the roads at the moment. But this, there seems to be some right idiots on the roads. You have to be carried to the bed. That's not good. <clears throat> I'm driving this morning on the way to work and uh, in Nottingham, there's going out on the A60 out of Nottingham, there's a big island and uh, called Red Hill Island in Nottingham. And as we're going out, there's fire engines there, ambulance, police driving up to it. And there's two cars halfway up the bank and one wrapped around a lamppost. So obviously one car's going at speed, bang, hit the other car. Both cars have span round and up on the bank. However, if, if they both came away alive, I'd be surprised. Not what you want to see at quarter seven in the morning, mind you. Obviously, somebody was speeding or both were speeding, but bloody hell, it's a big, big roundabout. You can go at 60 around it, but oof. Paradise Circus. Utopian and Bristol Beer Factory. Ooh. Oh. 
So yeah, I got another red card off the life last night, as you do, these things happen, don't they? I went on, um, I think it was Harry's, Harry's channel. Harry was doing a, like a, a, a talk, they were just having a chat. So I went on, got, got a couple of beers, went up the, went up the stairs and obviously I was, it must have been a bit steaming. But I did have that 16% Lervig before. So I, I, I added, I added more fuel to the fire. Yeah. Yeah, she, she wasn't best impressed, shall we say. Yeah. These things happen, I suppose, don't they? You know. Good evening, Craig. Yeah. And these days on the motorways, if anybody's driving the M1, there is a shed load of new speed cameras. And I'm on about the ones that get you. The flashy ones that get you at 70. Um, there was only one at Junction 26. Now, they're all the way down. We went to Junction 20, I think it was 24 the other day. And there was about seven in a few miles. So for anybody who's not paying attention, whoa. Good evening, Rod. How are you? So, from Walsall, I think it's West Midlands is Walsall. Uh, back yard brew house blonde <laughs> it was a strong beer yeah 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 it was it was good to be my new number one it would have to be some beer you know um 16 percent wow that was some beer At work, hey, eh? bless you. Yeah, it's a sad thing that we have to work, isn't it? It's a killer, but we all have to earn the pennies. Unless you're rich enough to win the lottery or something, and then you, then you don't need to. But, uh... yeah, I got the red card last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I phoned the wife up this morning and got, and got a right mouthful. So these things happen, don't they? You know. So, yeah. Backyard brew house blonde, golden ale, slight haziness to it, white head. I mean, I was planting today again in the rain with an umbrella shoved down my back again. And uh, I mean, for the plants, it's great. For me, not so. Muddy soil with knee pads on and... Uh, But the plants I'm putting in, they love the rain. So, you know, for them, it's brilliant. For me, it's not so. But when the warm weather comes, and it will come at some stage, we're going to get a blast of it. All these plants I've put in the last few weeks, they should all be absolutely amazing. <laughs> put a strimmer harness on and shoved it down the back of it. So the strimmer harness actually held it in place. Yeah. Didn't want to put it down my back of my jumper. Yeah. One on that would be round on your back. And certainly not down my backside. No. Didn't want that long, thank you. Lovely citrusy beer. Um, good touch of lemon in this. Easy drinking. A very, very good pub beer, in my opinion. It's one of those at 4.1%. It's not going to, uh, not too demanding. It's not going to um, get you drunk. But um, nice nonetheless. Good evening. It has, it's gone down a bit now, hasn't it? Yeah. And good evening. I have no idea. I think it was Morrison's. Yeah. I think it was Morrison's. Uh, but other than that, I wouldn't have a clue. No. I've had it a while as well. Um, the only good thing about the beer wall dying down is that I am getting to... Um, wow, I've had it a while. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. <clears throat> it slipped past my um, um, best before dates. Still tastes great though. And that's the good thing about the traditional stuff. The traditional stuff, dates don't really matter too much. The craft stuff, yeah, yeah. Dates are quite uh, relevant, more relevant with that. 4.2 at the moment. 
Yeah, you need one, don't you? I, I scream at 5.2%. I think that might have been out a while, you know. And is it a stout with an ice cream picture on the front? I'm sure that's been out a while. I'm sure I've reviewed that. A year. In two months. <laughs> yeah. Still tastes good, though, to be fair. Just goes to show you. But the traditional stuff. I used to have it all the time in Sainsbury's. Um, we used to find stuff well out of date. And obviously, this was before craft beers. So... And it tasted great. I mean, if it was two or three years out of date, even I might be a tad worried. Yeah, I've reviewed that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your Audi's only just got it in. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Supermarkets these days are just not up to... The, the, they're not getting the beers like they should do. Death Star's already gone back off the shelves now. That The ticket's been removed. So that, that's a bit disappointing. What I did notice today, so I got a load of beers. As you can see, my Morrison's in Bullwell in Nottingham, a load of the beers were reduced. Or even like Westmall. I mean, that was 50 pence. None of the other, none of the other um, Morrison's around us did the same. They put a ladder rack and put them on a four for six deal on the ladder rack. No, no, no. I'm just saying that it's not the same at all Morrison's. Um, at, my Mor at my local Morrison's, I got them like that. At another Morrison's, all those beers that have been took off the shelves are actually still on their deals until they go, you know, until they actually sell out and then they'll just disappear. Good, good. Good evening. Bonjour. The Magnum Cider is some good stuff. Did you did you add sugar to them um, on the secondary fermentation or did you just do a still? <laughs> I mean, that 50 pence for the Westmore, bloody hell. I, I just wish I'd have gone a few days earlier. There could have been some really, really good bargains. Yeah, well, they've got ladder racks with these on. So the ladder racks are out the way, you know. Uh, but I, I presume that the one at Morrison's just had, uh, the Borwell one, just had way too much um, leftover beers for them to be able to cope with it. Hence why they reduced it down in price. But, you, you, you know, your stock takings take a thump for that. But the Morrison's in Borwell is, is an Amazon Morrison's. So it does all the Amazon um deliverers so they may just have a bigger a bigger budget to get rid of their stock it's amazing in supermarkets what you learn that sometimes they're only allowed to reduce so many items i haven't looked i have not i've not looked at it for a few days to be fair it's still bubbling away the own brew um when it warms up at the weekend i'll then i'll do a bigger i'll, I'll do an update and I'm also going to set up a new, a new, a new beer at the weekend as well. <laughs> Luckily, we haven't had any trolls for a long time, have we? We had that one the other day who was uh, coming out with some stuff, but yeah, they show themselves up so quickly, don't they? When they start coming out with stuff or like uh, what's it, uh, like pornographic stuff, and you you know straight away where they go. As soon as they say something, you think to yourself, "Here we go. Here's one." And I try not to even notice them. I try just to bloody ignore them. Not worth my time. And obviously they're trying to get a rise out of you. So. And now I've just realised that now on my phone, I can actually click on somebody's name when they're talking. Click on the name and block and delete them straight away. Great. So enjoying this, even though it is. A year and two months out of date. How the hell did that get through? Can't believe that. I've got nothing anywhere near that far out of date. Or even out of date, I think. Most of my stuff's pretty pretty new. Mm, strange one. No beers for you till Saturday. 
Oh yeah, the jab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I come across any breweries, I'll um, I'll do a little a new little new, uh, video post and let you know. I do keep looking. You know, when I'm at work and I'm usually usually for me on Facebook, I get all these offers coming up. Um, but at the moment, you see, because the pubs are open, the the offers aren't as good as what they were. I have noticed that they're not so desperate to get your money. Now they're a little bit less desperate, um, so so the offers aren't, aren't quite as as decent as what they were. I've seen some nice offers. Don't get me wrong, but um, nothing that really you know tantalises me into actually making a post about it. Um, I know low cost have got a big update coming in the pub at twelve fifteen. Fair play, I'll be doing that now. And uh, I should be drinking what some days this uh, on Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not so sure when, but uh, I'm off for two days, so jobs are good. And the Moderna jab, yeah, yeah, same sort of thing as the visor. It's Pfizer, Pfizer, I don't bloody know how you say it. The one that scares me is the Johnson and Johnsons. That's that's a, that's a, a bish bosh bash um, jab. One job, one jab, job's done. Yeah, and just got to hope that you don't get you ain't got blood clots because uh, then whew, could be worrying. I mean, the blood clot thing is worrying. Oh, obviously it's bloody ultra rare, but obviously it's it's still a thing, you know. But. 8.5, bless you. I mean, I got an headache within about an hour, took, took two, and uh, that was it. <laughs> Can't fault you. Can't fault you. I might have to stop doing that, you know. You've got to get your deals, haven't you? It's what it's all about. I love working in supermarkets. Do you know, if I'd have been a beer reviewer when I worked in Sainsbury's, I'd have had that many beers and all for silly prices. You've got to cut down on beer. Aren't we all? Nope. Here we go. Ah, diabetic. Rightio. Yes. Yeah, it, it can, you know, it, you do have to be careful, don't you? I mean, if you're told to cut down, you either do or, or you don't, and you, you suffer the consequences, and uh, yeah, you don't want that, yeah. I mean, obviously, there's low alcohol beers. I suppose there's, there is routes you can go down. There are beers that are ultra low on sugar, yet still alcoholic. I wonder if spirits would be a better way for you. Or gluten-free beers for, for diabetics then. Not being a diabetic, I won't know myself. Hello. Yeah, very well. Yeah, very well here, thank you. So enjoying this. It's going down nicely. I'm not, I'm not rushing it tonight. I'm going to do three beer reviews and uh, in the last five minutes of the beer review that's when I'll actually do the review mode up till then drink chat like you would in the pub righty-o that's interesting to know if I ever become a diabetic myself at least I do find that the gluten-free stuff is more expensive though a lot of the time so like your crabbies crabbies is gluten-free Crabby's ginger beers, they're all gluten free. Um, I mean, to say it's so out of date, it's still top notch. Can't fault it at all. Citrusy, lemony, smooth, little bit of bite on there. There's a hint of a bite, but nothing overly. Just a nice traditional beer. Sometimes I, I like chopping and changing between the varieties. I don't want to be drinking 
just like I don't want to be drinking 10 pints of Best Bitter, I certainly don't want to be drinking 10 IPAs on the road. Good evening, Liam. Have you heard anything from the, uh, what they called, um, the pinter people? Funnily enough, my subscription is coming. And my first kit, but I haven't got the pinter yet, so it's, it's, it's no good until I get the pinter. <laughs> it does sound like a good night, doesn't it? Yeah. That's why I'm doing the own brew again as well, to be fair. Vocation Art and Soul, right, yeah. Yeah, I got, she, she gave me a hint of a bite. Yes, yes. Yes, I got a bit of a mouthful last night and then I got some this morning as well. Yes, yes, these things happen, you know. You can't, you, you can't help it sometimes. Yeah, yeah, so spirits. Yeah, so on the spirit side of things, because of the, the, obviously it's all distilled away, isn't it? The sugar element. So whiskies and like rums and that sort of thing should. Whiskies and gins, I think. And about rums. I'm sure there's some sugar. I suppose in the flavoured rums and certainly the flavoured vodkas and that, there'd be quite a bit of, um, yeah. So if I ever become a diabetic, I'll just drink spirits all day long. Been down that road before. Yeah, you get drunk quick. Yeah. Pint of whiskey. Woof. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice beer. That was a nice whiskey, that was. Yeah, oh, missed that. I've done some. I've got I've done some bourbon reviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh in the channel. And there's I've got a spirit review section. And there's a few on there, not many, because it's, it's paying for them, you know, they're not cheap. I mean, for most of them type of things, you need to be getting miniatures. So that's still bubbling away, which is a good thing, you know. Albeit, I still might have to put some extra yeast in there, but I'll see how it goes. I'll let it get to the weekend when it gets warmer at the weekend and then check the AB, check, put the hydrometer in and check everything. See how the three kits are going. Well, the kits, two kits and the Vimto wine. At some stage with that Vimto wine, I'm just going to have to knock it on the head and just um, bottle it. Yeah, well, they do with wine as well. You know, you get a lot of people who are so far up their arse with wine. And, um, yeah, I think they'll go mad. Yeah. In fact, tomorrow night, because I'm not going out tomorrow night. Well, not that I know of. Not yet, anyway. Um, I might get the um, St. Peter's Cream Stout up and running as well. Ready for the warm weather this weekend. And uh, also get a wash going as well. You didn't stop drinking at any point, bless you. <laughs> Good evening, Aaron. How are you? So, really nice tasting this, enjoying this. Yeah, that's the one that's still bubbling. Yeah, yeah, still bubbling away. We'll see how it goes. If I have to, if I have to drop another another yeast in, I will. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. I do want it to ferment them sugars out though, so we'll see. We'll see. See what I'll do something if I need to. Six demi johns of wine. Oh bless you. I find demi johns an absolute swine to clean out. I'll get rid of mine. Plastic buckets and barrels are one thing, but demijohns, Jesus Christ. I had one that I brewed some wine in and the state it left the demijohn in. And I had to bleach it and uh, oh, it was a right bugger. Yeah. yeah, too much hassle for me. I mean, I've got a six bottle plastic fermenter. June the 21st, all being well, as long as we come out of this um, as long as this new variant isn't being silly. It's smellier. 
Is that going to be the Roman Raisin Stout? With your liter, with your liter of rum and the raisins. Oof. Yeah, I, got, I, I gave all my demijohns away. I swapped them. I swapped them for another plastic fermentation bucket. Ah, I can't wait to hear about that. And uh, and the ABV. How do you check? Here's a question. This is a homebrew question that I ain't quite worked out myself. So obviously you do a brew. And say you're going to add the rum at the end. How the hell do you check? How the hell do you come up with the ABV when you've added the rum? Because obviously it ferments out. So say it's 9%. Then you add a litre of rum. How then do you know what the ABV is of, of, of the beer? Or is it just a pure guess? There must be, there must be a calculation out there where somebody... If it's 20 litres, you add a litre a liter of rum, it's going to make it, say, 11% or something along those lines. It'd be interesting. No beer to the weekend. Sacrilege. No beer to the weekend. You need to change that. That's terrible. Oh, get them to the father-in-law. They sat outside his house. Now I'm not doing it. Yeah, the calculations. Maybe. It's still not an easy calculation. 19 litres and one litre of 40%. 40%. Mm. You're taking your pine tour away in the caravan, just out of curiosity. Good evening, Max. How are we? So. Oh, there's so many beers, isn't there? I mean, the UK shops have just exploded with a load of new beers. And even locally for me in Nottingham, it's you just can't keep up with the new beers coming out. Now the, now the breweries are all back doing what they do. I've got one brewery on my doorstep. They're bringing out a total of six new beers, six brand new beers within the next two weeks. And it's like, Jesus Christ, that's just one. There's like 25 local breweries around me. And I'm having to pick, pick out my favourites now because I just simply can't keep up with all the beers. Seven percent without the rum. Hmm. Be interesting to see. The, the, obviously, you're going to get so much per per liter, but uh, yeah, be an interesting calculation. If there's something out there, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to support local businesses. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, supermarkets. They don't. You know, they they get it cheap as chips anyway. So. Um, most of the big breweries don't make a lot on there, what goes in the supermarkets. 16 demijohns, wow. That is a few, yeah. I mean, I've got three barrels, and I've got one, two, three, four. Um, am I dying my hair blonde? No, no, <laughs> no, grey, not blonde. I think it's the yellow off this, <laughs> and good evening. <laughs> Yeah, I've got four fermentation barrels, a smaller fermentation barrel. It's it's mad, isn't it? Trying to keep up, trying to keep up with what's new. Uh, it's just, um, yeah, it's just <laughs> ridiculous. Which is why it's a good thing there's a lot of beer reviewers out there because... Uh, even in Nottingham, there's two or three more beer reviewers. And I think there's somebody on Instagram as well who's doing. And it's like, a, wow. But even so, even then, you're struggling to keep up with them. Because a lot of breweries are doing one-off brews. So they brew it once, never comes out again. Which is a bit sad, really. Because if it's something really, really decent, then why would you not brew it again? You know, I've tasted some amazing beers. And they're all one-offs where you, you'll never see them again. More, it's more a craft thing, I think, that's, than anything else. Certainly these nano breweries in Nottingham 
a lot of them, they don't seem to rebrew. It's sad because when it's something that really hits the spot, it needs to be rebrewed. It needs it needs to come out again. But uh, yeah, it is sad. Sad to see. Sad to see good beer not being not not people not getting the chance to do it again. So with this beer, um, four point one percent from Backyard Brew House. It's called Blonde, which kind of gives the game away. You couldn't get on with the fermentation barrels. Each to their own, I suppose, isn't it? 4.1%. Um, I, I I as you can see, it's like a yellowish, blondish, golden pour, depending on your light. I I have issues with different fermentation buckets. Some some work better than others. It's strange, isn't it? It is strange. Although I've got a split lid on one, which don't help. It's, it's perfectly usable, but it's it's not great, you know. It's, I need to get another bloody lid, really. It's a nice traditional pub pint, pub pint albeit a year out of date. <clears throat> I didn't realise. I get lemon and um, a lemony citrus to this. Good evening. Kentucky, they make some nice chicken. And um, Whitehead, lovely pour, subtle aroma, citrusy, subtle citrus aroma, and on the taste. Citrus, more lemony than anything, and it tastes lovely. Thirty two minutes in. San Diego. Out of three, out of three, out of three, out of five for me. Uh, I think you're right. I think a good 4.3 out of five. Um, we'll go dark fruit cider into a barrel, bless you. Um, yeah, 4.3 out of five. Really enjoyed this. Um, and to say it's a year out of date, it just goes to show you, don't be chucking baby um did I say so yeah um, yeah really enjoyed it right need to end this review come back with another review review in two minutes apologize to everybody if I'm, I'm killing conversations I will be back in two minutes cheers everyone cheers just got to find another review now cheers Although you could probably carry on talking. Yeah, what was the baby? <laughs>